Hi everybody, it's Kathy here from Kathy Loves to Scrap and I'm coming to you from the land down under. Today is Thursday, so that means we're keeping it simple sometimes. That's right, we're taking a layout and we're keeping it very simple. This week I'm pulling together this layout for you and I'm going to show you how to keep it simple with some simple stencil techniques and some simple inking on die cuts. So I have a title here that's on chipboard that I got from Scrapbook Fantasies. I have a quote there from a cut apart sheet and I have these three photos from my cruise that we're going to put together on a layout and we're going to build it quite simply so that you too can have a go at creating something so clean and simple. I also am going to include um, stickers from this sheet uh, so that it adds some information extra but I don't have to do too much because it is so easy and clean and simple. I like this piece of paper here and we're going to be using bits and pieces out of it. I'm going to go with the green background and that's because it uh, is an ombre background and it reflects the colours of the photos. I've chosen brown as my uh, cardstock for this layout just because of the wooden part of the deck and I just wanted to bring some deeper colours into this uh, overall effect. So when we're stenciling, it's really easy to do. You just lay your stencil over the top and using a, a distressing brush or a distressing dauber, you're basically rubbing ink into the holes of the stencil. Now, you can do it as dark as you like or you can do it as light as you like, but it's actually just holding the stencil in place and rubbing it over those uh, stencil cuts to ensure that you uh, get an even coverage for where you'd like it to be. Now because of the netting here, I am able to go in and fill in spaces and I was using the Scorch Timber Distress Oxide because that actually is a rich colour and I've got that new brush that I've been experimenting with which is um, the new blending brush tool and it allows for an even coverage. We're going to use a band across the centre of this page, which is just a classic uh, scrapbook layout where it's broken into thirds and you'll have your stenciling at the top, you'll have the band across the middle and you'll have your plain um, pattern across the bottom. Now this pattern that I'm using across the middle is actually um, shorter in width so I'm extending it by cutting it in half and there is a space in the middle which is fine because my photo will cover that up. So if you've got a piece of paper and you want it to look like it's going right across the page, you can easily achieve that effect when you place your photos and your embellishments strategically to hide the fact that you've stretched that piece of paper. Now I'm using the wood grain here, like I said, in the brown, and I'm using that to uh, uh, basically adhere that strip of paper to the background so that it doesn't just look like it's hanging there. That's really important because sometimes it looks like your photos or your bands are not attached to the page, that they're just sitting on there. And this is just a finishing touch. That's a simple technique to make it a polished layout. So I'm mounting the photos onto the brown cardstock as I have gutted that from behind the green and I'm using the brown there to sit nicely onto this layout and allow the photos to uh, pop off the back of that page. Really sorry about Ivy in the background, she's having a good old bark because we have a new kitten and obviously she's being distressed by the kitten. Um, I'm now going to double mount the main photo because I just want it to be a little bit more of that background but also to stand away from the other two photos and that's an easy technique to make the eye focus on the key photo of the layout. So my first one is straight and then my two smaller ones I'm having at angles and that way you can still see the pattern papers underneath and it provides you with enough interest to look at that layout. So I'm just adding in this title which I have chipboard and it says fun and it's a simple layout uh, technique to use where you uh, back your uh, title underneath when it's cut out like this and how you do that is by tracing around and when you trace it around you then fussy cut your letters and when you fussy cut your letters out you can then stick them onto the back of your uh, 
chipboard and that will fill in that space for you and add another effect to your layout. But before I'm going to glue that on, I'm actually going to uh, colour the chipboard and I'm using Distress Sprays to do that. This one here um, is a bit of a shimmer type one and it's a coppery shimmer and it's got a bit of a gold fleck through it. So I let, I've sprayed that and I've put it to the side. While that's drying, I've also die cut some flowers out of the rest of that paper that I had for my background and also some white ones. And because they are white, I want them to blend in with the colours of the layout. So I'm going to use um, some Distress Oxides here and I've chosen to use, um, I think it's a Pine Needles one and or it might be spruce pine. I think it's spruce pine and that's the color that I'm going to use with the scorched timber to get the same colors that are in the papers of uh, the background on my layout. And as you can see, I'm just daubing with my paint daubers over the top. Some are dark, some are light, and that allows me to uh, create this, the same effect that is in the papers that I'm using on this layout. Now I am using an old Cricut mat. This is a good, uh, good repurposing of this product. It's lost its stickiness enough to hold for me to cut with my Cricut, but it's still got enough stickiness that holds my die cuts while I am uh, distress inking them. And that way it gives me a clean mat workspace as well. And, it, and I can just work with the flowers. So I'm just giving some depth to my flowers here by inking the edges and also curling them a little bit so that they come up off the page and they're not sitting flat. That's another simple technique to give um, a, uh, another dimension to your layout through your die cuts. Now if you don't you have a die cut but you do have paper punches, it's the same process. So you can do it with paper punches as well. Um, if you're looking for tools that are must-haves in your uh, kits if you're just starting out. Uh, flower paper punch is a really good one to have because you can use flowers to embellish everything. Or if you're looking into metal dies, likewise, look at different uh, nesting flowers so that you can have them in different sizes and that adds uh, two and three layers of flowers into your layout. So I'm adding a banner here to the top and you can see that I've die cut that and it's going to have a double banner across the top here just for as a point of interest. And that's just going to be a focal point at the top of the page. And that's also going to be an anchoring point for the title. Now, once that's down in place, I'm going to put um, the little quote card, which is from a cut apart sheet. And I'm going to layer up my, my flowers to create an embellishment cluster down here in the bottom right hand corner and that's just going to tie the little um, elements of the page together because once the title goes in I will also add some flowers to the top. I use uh, tacky glue to adhere my flowers and once they're in place um, I'm just working out where they sit on that cluster. Uh, you can see that I'm building them so that that there's space, a little bit of space between but not too much and I'm layering up the flower so that it's not flat and once that's done and dried then I'll be able to add in um, my stickles to put the centers in. I has, As I said I backed that um, title, the framing for the title and you can see that that just adds another point of interest to the layout, ties in with my paper choices and my color choices Put those flowers in there onto that title and as I'm looking at it I'm seeing that it's not totally um, full enough those clusters so I've got and got a leaf punch and I've just punched out some brown leaves the same color as the uh, backing and mounting of the photos and the framing of the layout and that's tying it all together but it fills out those um, clusters so that they're a little bit fuller and they're, they're simple little techniques to uh, add to your layouts. As you can see, I've added the gold stickles there. They're going into the center. And when they dry, they will be like um, the flower centers and they will sparkle and add that little bit of bling to the layout. To finish off, I'm just going to add a few little phrases here, some little word phrases about having fun, um, good times and those good vibes only, smile, so that um, it reflects 
the vibe of the fo- of the photos in this layout. Now I either use Nuvo drops or I add um, some sequins to a layout to just finish off with three points of interest and in this case I'm going to use three different sequins so that I have a little bit of sparkle on the page and a place to draw your eye to those uh, word phrases. So they are the same colours but they're on opposite sides and you can see that that little bit of sparkle just is that little tiny little bit of extra to add to your layout. And last but not least, don't forget to add some details of the event to your layout. So in this one, I'm adding that we were on, that it was myself and my daughter. Sorry about that. And we had a great um, time on the cruise. And this was day two. And you can see I'm wearing my Vicky Booten shirt there because I was on the cruise with Vicky Booten. I was doing a scrapbooking cruise with her. And day two, we all wore our Vicky Boo crew shirts to let everybody know that that's what we were doing. So here's my layout overall. Um, you have the batters from side to side. You have the sequins down there with the panel. You can see the photos. Now, this um, has a vertical from top to um, top left to bottom right, and it draws your eye down and around that uh, layout. And as you can see, that simple technique of stenciling adds just a little bit of difference to the top. It allows for the threes, the rule of threes, by a third of your page, threes with your sequence, threes with your um, word phrases, and then your clusters of three of flowers. So this is a simple layout that looks very, very effective because it's followed the simple rules of the thirds. So I've got three photos three panels and three pluses. Thanks for looking. It's Kathy here from Kathy Loves to Scrap. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if there's something here that you've learnt or, or been reminded of. Hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate if you're coming back or if you're new, that's even better. Leave me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Remember every Thursday, Kathy Loves to Scrap gives you something simple to keep an effective layout together. Check me out on Instagram where all my layouts end up. Thanks once again for watching. Happy scrapping. Till next time.